We've seen Mega Evolution, and we've seen Regional Variants, and both are awesome, but to this point, we've never gotten to see them together. This is why I've decided to take up that responsibility in this video and look at what it would be like if regional variant Pokemon got Mega Evolutions. I'm not doing this alone though, because I've brought along someone for the ride who has some experience in this department, and that would be none other than Prag Magic. He's going to be helping me cover these Megas, so with that said, let's get into it. So today's video is being made possible thanks in part to today's awesome sponsor, Manscaped, and their Handyman Face Shaver. The Handyman is designed to get you that clean shaven look super quickly and easily, and after trying it out myself, I really enjoy the overall quality of it. All of Manscaped stuff is great quality to be honest, and the Handyman is no exception. It's just built really well, and in particular, I really like how quickly it allows you to shave thanks to how wide the razor is. And you don't even have to worry about nicks or cuts while you're shaving thanks to the Handyman's skin safe technology. It's also got a compact design that makes it perfect for traveling, it's got a 60 minute battery life with a rechargeable battery, it's waterproof, and it can even give you a clean shaven look with up to 3 days of beard growth. So if you want to get a better, easier shave, you can grab the Handyman with the link in the description below. And not only does that help out the channel and help videos like this one to happen, but when you use code HOOPSVGM at checkout, you'll even get 20% off plus free shipping as well. So again, check that out with the link below and a big thank you to Manscaped for supporting the channel. Hey everyone, Brandon here, and like Hoop said, I'm going to be helping out with some of these regional mega designs. We've also done a video together over on my channel where we look at what if we got regional variants in older Pokemon regions who don't have them. So follow the link in the description or the end card to check that out once you finish this video. With that said, let's get into these megas. And the first one is Mega Alolan Marowak. Alola Marowak was one of the most popular regional forms when it was first revealed, and probably still to this day. So with its popularity and super cool design, it was an easy choice for a Mega. Mega Alolan Marowak goes from a Fire Dancer to more of a Chieftain type of look with its Mega Evolution. It now carries torches instead of a Fire Dancing Staff, with the ghostly flames resembling the head of Marowak itself. Additionally, if you look closely, you can see that the bones that make up these torches are the broken off ends of the staff, revealing that this Marowak's bone has now been broken in two. This reflects a theme that many Megas share, which is that Mega Evolution is actually a painful and gruesome experience for the Pokemon to undergo, much like a broken bone would be. It remains Fire Ghost type as well, and for its stats, since Megas all get 100 base stat total boost, we would simply buff the weakest stats that Marowak has, giving it 50 more special attack to help pack more of a punch with those Fire and Ghost moves, and then it would also receive 25 each in HP and speed, to help those not be quite as bad as they are right now. We obviously don't know if regional variants and Mega Evolutions will ever interact, but we we think that this design does a good job showing off the massive amount of potential that this idea has. Potential indeed, which I believe our next Pokemon also demonstrates quite well. It's another fire ghost type just like Alolan Marowak, and that would be Mega Hisuian Typhlosion. Now, for those who came over from Brandon's channel, I know that he has also done a rendition of this concept before, but as the Cyndaquil fanboy that I am, obviously I was going to have to take a crack at it myself. I also got to give a shout out to Trevenart for drawing the artwork of all the designs in this video as well, so be sure to check him out with the links in the description below too. Getting back to Typhlosion though, I think this Mega really hones in on showcasing Typhlosion with a greater control, I guess you could say, of its ghostly powers. In its regular form, it becomes a bit lackadaisical upon gaining that ghost typing, but upon Mega Evolving, it's become much more focused and confident with regards to its ghostly aura, and not to mention, it also becomes more powerful. I would give Mega Hisuian Typhlosion an even boost of 20 across 
five of its stats with the 100 base stat Mega Evolution boost. So its HP would jump to 93, its attack would be 104, defense would be 98, special attack would be a crazy 139, and special defense would be 105, making Mega Hisuian Typhlosion ridiculously strong with a base stat total of 634, not to mention extremely well-rounded as well, as its lowest stat in any category would be its HP at 93. While I appreciate the love that Game Freak did give to the Cyndaquil line in Legends Arceus already, this certainly wouldn't hurt to have either, and I would love regional megas to become a thing if it meant that my boy could get even more of the spotlight and could receive even more cool forms, like a mega evolution of its regional variant that also comes from the past. I mean, the appeal literally just writes itself right here, so needless to say, this is something that would be amazing to see happen as well. Now we're going to step away from the ghost types though, and look at what is probably my favorite design of this video, Mega Galarian Rapidash. For me, Galarian Rapidash was a huge disappointment. While Galarian Ponyta looks amazing, Galarian Rapidash just drops the ball big time in my opinion. I mean, its hair looks like toothpaste for crying out loud. It was a big letdown for me, so I set out to right all of these wrongs with a Mega Evolution, and the first order of business was to make its mane and tail actually look glorious like it should have, instead of looking like it just came out of a toothpaste tube. And personally, I feel like we were able to accomplish that here. The second order of business, though, was also a big one, and that was the addition of the Pegasus Inspiration. People have been wanting to see Rapidash become a Pegasus since the days of Gen 1, and with the Galarian forms, it felt like this could possibly happen since there is very much a fairy tale dynamic going on with these Pokemon. I guess I can't give Game Freak too much flack here though, since they just opted for the unicorn route instead, which honestly is fine, but also, why not have both? And a Mega is the exact kind of thing that would be perfect to mush both of these equestrian inspirations together into one glorious and beautiful design. So that is what we have tried to do here, while also answering all of those decades-long prayers of those who have always wanted to see Rapidash become a Pegasus. Due to the Pegasus inspiration, Mega Galarian Rapidash also changes its type and becomes a fairy flying type, which feels both like a fun type combo and a great fit for this Pokemon in my opinion. Stat-wise, its boost would be to its HP, defense, and special attack, giving it 100 base HP, 100 base defense, and the rest in its special attack for a great 115 base special attack stat, and an overall base stat total of 600. Mega Galarian Rapidash is basically what I wanted Galarian Rapidash to be, with an extra bit of pizzazz added in for the Mega Evolution, and if it was real, it would definitely be one of the most glorious and most beautiful looking Pokemon in my opinion, which is a far cry from the disappointing look that I believe its base form has, and is a true demonstration of how much a Mega Evolution can really do for a Pokemon. Next up, we're technically going to break a rule here and look at Clodsire. It's not a regional variant, but it does evolve from one, and since Clodsire has become such a quick fan favorite, we couldn't resist the urge to give this adorable guy a Mega Evolution. This is Mega Clodsire, and he's equally as pointy as he is chonky. The first thought behind this design was to enhance what already made Clodsire great, and at least part of that is the immaculate vibes it gives off. It's just an adorable little bean with a dash of chonkiness to it for good measure. So the goal was to enhance that, but Clodsire also has another trait that is perfect to expand on in a Mega Evolution. The spines that Clodsire can protrude from its back are a neat and terrifying secondary feature of its design. That doesn't always shine through though, so it only made sense that this little hidden feature of Clodsire's design should really come out in the Mega. As such, Mega Clodsire now has spines for days, and they stay constantly protruded outward as a mainstay of its design. 
This in turn would make it more of a defensive powerhouse and a wall amongst walls. As its stat boost would double its defense to 120, top off its special defense as well to 120, and for good measure, give its special attack a slight bump to 65. On top of Claude Sire's already great HP stat, this would turn it into quite the tank and would give it a fun specialized role in battle. It also stays Poison Ground type as you might expect, and allows one of the bestest boys from Gen 9 a chance to soak up even more of the spotlight. Another recent regional variant that I thought would be fun to cover is Hisuian Arcanine. We just did Hisuian Typhlosion, obviously, but the Hisuian forms have a unique appeal to them, being from the past and all, that I feel like makes them all the more fun to give Mega Evolutions to. So without further ado, I present to you Mega Hisuian Arcanine. On top of just looking really cool in my opinion, I think this design also works great thematically with Mega Evolution because it's basically like the ultimate member of the Arcanine family. As you may already know, Growlithe and Arcanine are inspired by Komainu, which are statues that are meant to act as guardians of Japanese Shinto shrines. They're also known as Lion Dogs, which is where these Pokemon get their more unique appearance from despite resembling dogs in general. Likewise, this is also what inspires the Hisuian forms of these Pokemon as well, as they become even more like the Komainu that they're based on, particularly with the addition of the rock typing. Wrapping back around to Mega Hisuian Arcanine though, the idea behind it is that it becomes the most like the Komainu of any of these Growlithe and Arcanine forms, by resembling the statues even more than any form of Arcanine to this point. It almost makes me want to make it a fire steel type as a result, to be honest, which would also be really cool, but since the Komainu statues are usually made out of stone, and resembling the statues is the whole point here, I think it's probably best if it just stays fire rock type. Its stats would definitely get a change though, and that is in the form of a big boost. And with Arcanine already at 555 with its base stat total, the Mega Evolution would reach a whopping 655 base stat total, giving it buffs in speed, defense, and special defense. I gave it 40 in speed, raising it to 130, since Arcanine is known to be a quick Pokemon and once knew extreme speed as its signature move, and then I also gave it 30 in both defenses to bring it to 110 in each of those stats, since a buff in defense and special defense only makes sense since it's resembling its statue origins even more, which as I mentioned, are meant to defend and guard the places they are found around. With those kinds of stats, this thing would be an absolute beast. And also, because I just gotta know, JPR, if you're out there, let me know with a comment if I did your boy justice, cause I'm really hoping to get the JPR seal of approval here. Which of these Megas is your favorite though? Let us know down below, and let us know if you would like to see regional variant Mega Evolutions actually happen someday. Be sure to leave a like as well, and subscribe if you came over from Brandon's channel and you haven't already. That would be super appreciated, and speaking of, thanks for coming over and helping me out with this one, bro. Sure thing. Like I said earlier, we we're also looking at what regional variants from older regions could have looked like over on my channel. And there's a lot of fun designs over there too. So hit the link in the description or the end card to follow us over there. With that said, I will be back very soon with another new video. And until then, as always, thanks so much for watching this one. I really appreciate it. And I will smell you guys later.